So in reports, we have open transactions, uncaptured transactions, transaction history, failed transactions, and custom reports. Beginning with open transactions, these are unsettled transactions, meaning they have not been sent to your processor. You can see these in a split card view, which is transactions broken out by card type. And we can see this in a unified card view. From the unified card view, you can organize this by any one of these above headers. For example, amount, or timestamp. We can export this to a CSV. And under advanced options, we can filter by date range, including custom, batches, if the transaction was captured, card type, and transaction type. We can also reset our options, and the filter allows us to filter that way. We can also filter here. So for example, I was looking for a specific customer. I would start typing in the name, and there we are. Here we have our actions. We can see the details of the transaction, any line items, re view the receipt, process a new transaction, store this card for future use, reverse or cancel the transaction, edit the transaction, adjust the transaction, and complete. The reason this one says complete is because this one is a pre-off. If this was a sale, we will not see the complete option. Okay. Here you can see the card type, the last row of the card, what type of transaction it was. So this one was card on file, this one was a keyed entry, but this one was a pre-off, sale, sale, the timestamp, the name, the ABS, the CV, the off number, and the TTID. Under the uncaptured transaction report, we see that same pre-auth, but here it's a little more organized, so you can easily find it. What we would do here is we would come here and we would hit complete. Submit. And now we'll find that again in our unsettled transaction report, but that is now a completed sale. In our transaction history, these are transactions that have been settled. So we have not settled anything in the last 72 hours, but let's try the last month. All right, so here we are. You see that this was settled. And these are the transactions associated with it. Again, our actions more or less apply the same. Here we can do a refund, store the transaction, view the transaction, view the receipt, the line items and the details of the transaction. We can still see the split card view, export to CSV, and do our advanced options. This top line is our settlement line. Anything between this one and the next one that says settle is a transaction within that batch. Failed transactions are transactions that have not gone to settlement. They will never go to settlement, they failed. So for example, this one did not have a valid expiration date, so it failed. There's not much you can do. You can just see the details and view a receipt with these ones. You can still do the split card view, export to CSV, and advanced options. And then custom reports. These are reports that you create. So we can create custom reports from our open or our transaction history. From open transactions, in our advanced options, we would select any number of these criteria. We would hit save as custom report. Hit submit. Saved. We can go to edit this. We can reselect a different date range. We can select which visible columns we'd like to see. We can see, so let's add user but let's say we would like the user to be the first column we see. Okay, so we put that there. We can add other filter and storing columns, parameters, 
again, filter by card type or transaction type. Submit. So we just made test custom. This is our new one. So we can view this. And now we see that the user is the first column. We can view that as a split card view. We can export to that to CSV. We can also edit that report. And we can toggle between our other reports as well here. And that is reports. Thank you very much.